Today is the fifth of September. Thank you, Lord. There are thousands, perhaps millions, that started this year. Mm. Some of them, Corona, are taking them away. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Some of them is small illness that are taking their names. Thank you, Lord. Out of the people that is alive in the world. Mm. Father. Our life, our living is not by our power. No, yes, thank you, Lord. It is all by your grace. Oh, yes, Lord. And to be able to come into your presence to serve you. Thank you. It is purely by your grace. Yes. yes. Thousands of the people roaming about in the street. Mm. No clue, no direction. Mm. A lot of people are depressed. Some of them are psychologically depressed. Mm. Some are emotionally depressed. Some are mentally depressed. Mm. They are afflicted by the demons. Just like the demon in the life of the gathering. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the Lord has set us free to be able to participate, to be able to worship you, to be able to serve you. Father, we give all the glory. Hallelujah. Father, we have come to your presence. We want your word to prove with us. Amen. Both the speaker and the hearer. Amen. We declare that your word today will empower us. Amen. It will enlighten us. Amen. Amen. Humble bow before you, O oh Lord. And we ask that Lord Jesus, write our name in the book of life. Amen. Take our way, take our name away from the book of life. Amen. From the, take our name away from the book of death. Amen. Amen. Put our name from, in the book of life. Amen. Amen. And destroy every part of the enemy that want to withstand the word of God. It is hard for anyone, demons physical or spiritual to so withstand against the word of God. So I declare that by the power in the word of God I put those every obstruction, Amen. disturbance Amen. in our midst today Amen. against the word of God. In Jesus Amen. 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 Commit our heart, soul, spirit and body to you. Amen. Let us be receptive unto your word. Amen. 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 And let this your word prosper. Amen. 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 Both in the spirit and in the physical. Amen. Amen. Amen.
every one of us will aspire to please God all the days of our lives. We should not relent in doing good things. We should love God. We should seek for peace. We should even pursue it. And I pray that this advice that God asked for us in the scripture, the Holy Spirit will give us a listening ear and an understanding heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So listen to this word. And after the message of today, go again, listen to it and share it in your social media. Perhaps you, you will save a life. Because the word of God is life. And uh, when life comes into your life, every death thing will disappear. One of the caterpillar and cacaworm is folly. Foolishness is in the heart of someone that do not fear God. Firstly, it is profitable for you never to join the word of God with your kind of mind. This is the state of many people that hear the word, try to judge it, and fought the word of God. Every one of us, let us look ourselves in the mirror of the word of God. Don't allow your kind of mind to fault the word of God because the word of God cannot be fought. If truly you have come to the presence of God to hear the word of God, you should be happy when you are hearing the word of God. It's just that means the word of God that corrects you. That's telling you that you are his children. When you are hearing the rebook that pertains to you, that's telling you that your father is rebooking you. When you are hearing a word that is encouraging you, that's telling you that the word of God is encouraging you. When you are hearing the word that excites you, that's telling you that you are son of God. The Bible tells me in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. This is the desire of God for me and you to be servants. The Bible says that the man of God may be thoroughly washed and furnished unto all good works. I declare that the Lord Almighty will grant unto all the desire to be his servant in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And it is great to be the servant of God, to be a mouthpiece of God. The messenger of God will shine as light. He will be one of them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The word of God is to judge you. Not you judging the word of God. It will not be wise for anyone to attempt to do that. Judging the word of God and the messenger of God is a great folly. And those that do that are in danger, so they are not wise. For who the Lord love, the testimonies. Hebrews chapter 12. I'm reading from verse 6 to 11. The Bible says, For whom the Lord love, his sister is And spoiled every son who he received. That means the word of God can beat you. The word of God can eat you and make you cry. You don't need to be angry with God, nor his messenger. When you are being beaten by the word of God, it's for you to come to your senses and say, God, what I need to do that is going to better my life and please you. That is the state that God wants us to be. For serving. If you endure sex tenet, God dealeth with you with sons. 
For what son is he whom the father sentence not? If we are coming to the presence of God and we have something in our life that the word of God wants to take out so that it can bless us with his own blessing that he has for us in his word. And we are refusing, not allowing the Lord of God, the Word of God to do that. God we not because we not agree with him, say my word is gonna stop, not perfecting what he has to do. No, he's gonna do it. Though that is gonna do it in the life of people that you can see that obey the word of God. Somebody that hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I pray that the Almighty God will give us the grace to understand. It will not be too late for us. Amen. So the Bible says when you are enduring exercise, like we all do when we are young. Our father, our mother, they punish us. I don't know if your mommy really beats you. My mother is a disciplinarian. She beats me. I can see some people rolling their eyes and taking their head out. Me too. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. But you, you come out good. You have culture. You have manner. You are respectful. You can trace back and give that credit to your parents. Because that is the work that they do. When you see a rotten child, they don't know how to give respect to another. It is before to their prayer. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. And I declare that the grace of God will give us the grace to be able to humble and accept correction in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. But the Bible says it is somebody that the Father loves that he corrects. So a pastor that loves his congregation is what will be harsh, especially when pertaining to the truth. You know, all those powers that are giving you suit or even more than when they know that you are going to air, and then they only concern about your money. They don't love you. They do not. I wish I can do that. I wish I can just close my eyes and begin to give you suit word. But the person that called me will ask of me your blood. I can't do it. And that is why that if you are fortunate to be in this church, I want you to be encouraged by the power of the world because this is what God has given to me. He gave me the power to be able to teach. And I declare the grace to understand the Lord granted to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. Yes. The Bible goes for that, but if you be without sustenance, we are of or a partaker, then are you bastard and not sons? <laughs> Apostle Paul said, if you are without sustenance, if the word of God did not correct you, like we are all partaker, even including him, he said that the word of God also eats me. He said, how we are partaker? If we without sustenance, the sustenance that we all are partaker, then Ye, and I say, whenever you hear ye in the King James, what does it mean? Oh. oh. Then, everyone that without a statement is what? They are bastards. You will not ordinarily go and begin to beat somebody as children. I'm not talking to somebody, yeah. unless you are their guardians. If, when you go on the street, you don't look at somebody that respects his mother or his father, I begin to say, what are you doing? And started beating the person. Even the father will ask to say, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. But your child will not do that. And you begin to look at it. You are jealous over them. You beat them because you want to correct them. That beating is the love that naturally comes and overwhelm you. You can't control it because you want them to be the best. If you want your child to be the best child, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So also a good pastor want all his members to be the best. And the world is the only one that can refine us. The Bible says it's like a fire. Sometimes it's like a hammer. You know hammer. How many of you can put your neck and then they should be the hammer? The Bible calls the word of God like a hammer. So when it comes as a hammer to eat you, Yours is to take it to the physician. This is Dr. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I don't want this amount again in me from the wound that I've 
sustain. And if the Lord will go, he will Amen. And now, if you don't take the hammer of the word of God, the devil has his own hammer too. And the devil hammer, where he's going to eat you, it is in a deadly place. Because the Bible says he seeks to, to kill, to steal and to, and to destroy. He will not destroy you in the name of the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. So furthermore, we have had Father of our flesh, which correct us. And we gave them all reference. I don't know who doesn't give his parents reference. It's only when your parents are busy in the night. Even when you remember how he's going to be mean to you. When you are not respecting, uh, you are not respecting him or her. Am I talking to somebody? <laughs> you will have to respect by force. Now look, the time of grace, I will say, is almost the most dangerous time mm -hmm. because your sin is not accounted for immediately. It's reserved for the judgment day. I wish that when we sin, God quickly give us our punishment mm -hmm. so that we know our folly immediately. But this is the time of grace that you can see your way to hell. Yes. You will not see your way to hell in Jesus' name. Amen. And still have the delusion. The Lord will not give you delusion in Jesus' name. Amen. To believe that you are living the best life. The Bible says, Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirit and life? If we can reference our parents, how much more God is the father of the spirit, is the father of life. Is the one that can quickly your, your mother body with his grace and power and inspire your spirit and man to be able to live right. For they very late for a few days, our father sustaining us after their own pleasure. Our father disciplining us for their own pleasure. Why? Because they want their own child to be great. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, a father will tell his child, he said, I want you to be a doctor. Hello? Hi. If that boy is a carpenter, and all what they are teaching him in uh, biology, he just in writing wood, nail, uh, uh, nails, nails, uh, uh, hammer, saw, saw. Uh, the father will continue to beat him. Am I talking to somebody? Why? Because the father desire for him to become a doctor. They can discipline him to their own pleasure. And the time of the struggle. But our Lord, our Lord God, has something that is more unique than what our earthly father wanted for us. Am I talking to somebody? And most of these, our earthly father, if they want you to become an engineer, they have seen that maybe you will make a lot of money for yourself. And then they can be called the daddy of the most richest person here. No, how many of you want to be your child to be the richest here? No, they shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I thought you are, will be some offer. I thought that you would be offer spiritual. <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. It's good. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But look. And keep me saying this. The way our parents discipline us and they want us to be rich and be great here on earth. When you look at in the mirror of the word of God, you find that Jesus Christ just water it down. He said, For we that are his follower, we're gonna make it, but our making is not gonna be focused on the things that are temporal. He wants our focus to be shifted here from this world. To the eternity where we we enjoy forever i declare me and you shall enjoy forever in jesus Amen. Amen. because making the the end at last is the most important thing so now our parents discipline us for their own pleasure because they want us to be what they want us to be to be the best which is good i will give them reference for that because we know that our parents love all. That is why they wish us well. And most of the time, we can be struggling to achieve the aim and purpose of our children. Even when we know that this is not what we propose. And I give an illustration. Am I talking to somebody? So, now, the Bible go for that. But if 
for our profit. It's all our profit. Hallelujah. Amen. That we might be partaker of his holiness. So when God said, Thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication, thou shalt not steal. It's not because he doesn't want you to enjoy yourself. If you call that you want to enjoy yourself, because those people that do that, they say they are enjoying themselves. It's not because God doesn't want you to enjoy yourself. He has given you a license that when you are of age, you go and marry. So that there will not be need for you to commit war adultery. So the Bible says, drink from your own war sisters. There are a lot of fools, and this is how you know that they live their beautiful life at home and go for extra marital affair. And when you compare their wife and the babe or chick that they are playing with, you find out that their wife is more beautiful than their uh, mistress. You find out that's a folly. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. But this is common to man that is a danger zone and at comfort. They are at comfort and believe that they can play their way and please God with that. I declare wisdom into your knowledge in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. So let us be wise. I want you to pray to somebody be wise, my brother. Be wise, my brother. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And you know, God wants us to profit. He wants us to live holiness. He wants us to be a partaker of His holiness, of His nature. How do we do that? You say, but there is a lot of temptation that make me to do that. Yes, it's true. But the Bible says this temptation is not only pertaining to you, that temptation pertains to all. That temptation pertains to all. And the Bible says God has given you power to be able to bear it for no temptation that is taking you, but the one that I will come on. And this is what you need to do. Look yourself in the mirror of the word of God and see any area that you need to repent and make amen and do what is needful before it's too late. Hmm. Because sitting in danger zone and be at ease in Zion, why well, you know that there is a fire in the mountain? It's a folly, error, mistake. And I declare the law, Almighty, oh, we have mercy on you in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Yes. Now, you say, now, no destiny for the present cement to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceful, uh, peaceful fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Now, let me explain that to you, Sama. When the word of God is correcting you, or rebuking you, and telling you that, please, this is a danger soul. Hello? Hi. Don't refute it. Don't rationalize it. Don't ignore it. Accept it. That is the first step. For you to be able to do what is needful. When you accept a good critic in the word of God and try to make amend. After what you have made amend, you find out that you begin to live in righteousness. In obedience to the word of God. You begin to walk in the path. Of the law. The Bible says everyone that exercise their bar, they have peace of mind at last. Because the one that gives the peace, more than the one that the world can give, is the one that they are following his word. I encourage you today to begin to exercise the word of God that you are hearing by practicing it. Don't sit in a danger zone anymore. 
Can you pray to somebody by your side? Don't sit in the danger zone anymore. Don't sit in the danger zone anymore. You no, know, our, you know, there is a scripture. There was a boy. He became a man. God told him, and for all Israel, don't go to the unbeliever and go and get what? Well, because he had this power. He didn't see anybody in Israel. He went to the land of Philistines. Hallelujah. The land of their enemy. He said, I want to marry this. Marry that for me. You know, he had been doing it. He had been sleeping with prostitutes. God is forgiving him. The power was still there. And that. But the problem is that he was sitting on the comfort zone on the lap of Delilah. Delilah asked him all the secret of his power. power. And many times, he deceived Delilah. And Delilah carried out the plan of making him of no effect. There are a lot of people, after you are falling, you rise up again, and God still gives you the grace. Do you know how many times God will give you the grace? And say, enough, this one is the final. I declare, you will not enter into trouble. Hey, Amen. Amen. So, it was on the lap of the Lila, it was in the comfort zone. It was resting. And the Lila will turn this lap, so we turn our lap this way, and then we turn our lap that way, and it was asleep. And it took, she took a razor and cut all his power. The Nazarene become an ordinary man. Every strength and power that the Holy Spirit has given to you, that the world, the devil, by their deceit, they make you to sit in a of pool and they want to take your power. The Almighty God, the Almighty God will fight for you. Amen. And you will rise up. Amen. Somebody say, the Lord make me to rise up. The Lord make me to rise up. So, my brother and my sister, practicing the word of God is what will make you uh, wiser than the devil. Don't rest in a danger zone anymore. It is great error to rest in a danger zone. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 20. The Bible says, here cancel. This word is cancel. I receive instruction that thou mightest be wise in the <laughs> later end. It is good for us to be wise. And those people that heal the word of God, they are the most wise. Unwillingness to obey the word of God is a great error. What did I say? Unwillingness to obey the word of God is a great error. Lack of interest in the things of God is a great error. Somebody said hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can write it down. Lack of interest in the things of God is a great error. So there are a lot of people that do that. They lack anything that have interest in serving God. So also, knowingly continue in sin and expect the grace to abound. It's a great error. It will be a fool. To continue with sin and say the grace of God, I want you to continue in my life. When you know lay that you are really in sin, and if Christ comes, and you know that your mind is condemning you, that what you are doing is wrong, and then you continue like that, it's error. It's error. A child of God supposed to run away from sin. What did I say a child of God supposed to do? Run away from, from sin. sin. A child of God don't willingly run into sin. You can't do that. You can't willingly run into sin. When you see the devil, you see serpent, and say, I want to go to sin. I want to go to the serpent. You think the devil is a serpent. He's a destroyer. How will you carry, how will you go to Abel Glory? You go to somebody that wants to destroy you and willingly go there. And you say, there are man. Nobody can carry a, you know, a, a python you know, and put it in his uh, head to do pillow. You don't run to sin. So we see a lot of people, because of this world, they are joining gang. It's willingly run to sin. You are joining occultism. People join occultism just for fun. Just because they want to get connected. It's error. 
Of course, it's a mis-error. No matter how name or the limit, either in the school or this, uh, or whatever name they might name it, sweet or no sweet, or courtesy, zero. Hello. Right. Shout a big hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyone that gives you chance, or have the telephone, or want the whatever phone, and put this one at the, when you want to sleep, put it at your bed so that you not see uh, the cold coach. Again, it's error. It's error. So if you truly believe God, you have faith and follow His word now. This is the only one that can help you now. Hello? Right. Now let me tell you another one that is coming. Hello? Right. Somebody hallelujah. Somebody said hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Suffering your phone when you are in the presence of God is a great error. Suffering your phone when you are in the presence of God is a great error. Most of the people that get themselves distracted in the presence of God will not even try that in the presence of their boss. They won't do that. But they are doing it before the kings of kings and the lord of law. And the problem is that they don't even have this condemnation in their hearts. And you know what? When you are sitting among those people in the church that are suffering their phone, hallelujah, Amen. some of them will be on social media and they, yeah, you know, this is the evil of the day. It's the evil of the day. The pastors see their face. They're thinking that they are hearing them. No, they are not. Let me tell you another thing. It's wise for you when you come to the house of God for those two hours or whatever hour. Put your phone in silence or cut it off. So that nobody will distract your blessing. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Now, yes. look. Look. Every one of us in the presence of God are assigned an angel. We, God assigned unto us an angel. An angel that come with our own blessing. Now, how do you get that blessing? Now, the messengers of God represent the angels of God in the church. And the Lord gave him authority to be able to bless. So, your word is coming and the blessing is coming, but you are on the phone. It said the one that applied to you, but you are not saying amen, whereby you get the, the blessing from the angels of God that are sent to you. You are distracted. It's not in the in the car, in the in the covens of the enemy that is what they intended to distract you whereby you will not be able to achieve while you come to the church of God and I declare all their plan the Lord will destroy it. Amen. Amen. You will be wise for you to not allow yourself to be distracted. Now look, you distracted yourself today, you distract yourself tomorrow in the presence of God. After you will lose interest in the things of God. This is the evil of the day. Somebody said hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, you know there are many people they place respect on their supervisor more than God. Because your supervisor will not be. Some people will carry the instruction of their supervisor to the letter. But when coming to the word of God, they started giving excuses. Because they are not paying attention. Some of them say, what is the message of the pastor resting in danger zone? Thank God they remember that. <laughs> but when you ask them, what did they get? They start telling, what did I get? Why? Because you are not paying attention. I pray that God Almighty will give you wisdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you come to the house of God, and this is what you are doing, I want you to know that you can't deceive God. Do you think anyone can deceive God? Whatever you sow, you will reap. Don't make man your trust. That's another thing. People that make man their trust, they are fools. And that may be love. Away, away 
from danger zone. Please, don't rest in a danger zone. Don't do that anymore. Don't make man your hand to carry you. Let the hand of God carry you. It is an error to do that. But I want you to be your own judge. And I say I'm going to take this teaching slowly. And let us look ourselves in the mirror of the word of God. Put it on the screen, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5 to 11. Jeremiah chapter 17, from verse 5 to 11. The Bible says, Thus says the Lord, Cause be the man that trusted a man, and make it flesh his arm. Look, anyone that God placed on your path to connect you, to bless you, monetarily, academically, materially, in all whatever, God placed them to bless you. They are your angel to help you. That man, that woman, is not your God. Hello? Hi. So if he or she tell you to discredit the word of God, discredit God, abandon God, and don't do what he asks you to do, you will be a fool to make that man your God. Don't make anybody your God. Make God your God. Make them your arm. The Bible says, if anyone make man is man, Hallelujah. Amen. Your heart will depart from the Lord. He said, and whose heart departed from the Lord? When you make man, hallelujah, Amen. your hand. He said, I don't need God anymore. What do you think most of the people in the, you know, you know, beautiful country like an America and Europe believe that they don't need God? Because they believe that their government will help them. Hello? Right. At least they will eat and live in a house for free. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. No, there are people, they don't even have a house. They live in their car. Some people say renting a house is, is a wastage. They rather be homeless because St. Elizabeth and the other houses is there. No, they only drive them away in the morning and then they come back in the evening. That will not be your lot in the name of the I find a Nigerian man that was living like that. Yeah. Very pathetic. Because somebody has already changed his mentality. That to be responsible is not good. So, how will that person get married? How will he get children? When shelter is your house. Mm -hmm. So, Bible go for that. For it shall be like the eat in the desert. <laughs> and shall not see when good comment. You remember the, the problem is that he or she make man is what? Is harm. The Bible says that man shall be like it in the desert. And shall not see when good is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. But shall inhabit the patch land. In the way that is, in like big bed. Oh, they never look at this. In 2003, me and my wife traveled to Dubai, UAE. I went to Dubai, went to all those uh, surrounding states in Dubai. I think they have seven states. It was a desert. And in desert, you know, desert in. Um, and, uh, 
you see the uh, the bridge as it blow, it blow the sand. Now they do irrigation because now they plant their city where now they do irrigation to plant some uh, some uh, wood and then they drive some uh, sea to put some uh, you know hotel, baby hotel. They are very good in attracting tourists. So look, the heat that was there when in the time of summer here in America, we are just playing. So now the Bible say, so in desert, where there is no tree, there is nothing, it just it just is a sand everywhere. You can see far, right? But the Bible says somebody that makes man is harm. Even when it's in the desert that they can see you know thousands or hundreds of men might just because there's no nothing you know obstructing his eye. But the Bible says because it's in the heat, it will not see good when it comes. So now when we bring that to practicality, it means that there might be a blessing surrounding you all around, but because you make man your harm, God can block your eyes. I declare every eye that is blocked that will not allow us to see the blessing around us, the Lord will take it away in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you will not inherit the past land in the name of Jesus. Amen. Remember what the Bible was saying that those people that make man their harm. The Bible said in a short land and not inhabited. Wow. That's a cause. The Bible now go for that. Blessed is the man, I want to be a monk of those one, that trusted, that trusted in the Lord. And whose hope is in the Lord? Now look. Somebody said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Men can tell you their own fadit. It's not, it's not today that men is telling people their fadit. That say, we have looked at this case critically, and this is our fadit. We are giving you that that is war. No. But when you trust God, the Bible tells me that everything, everything, how many things? Everything. Work together for those people that love God and those that work according to his purpose. So the Lord will turn the tide around to faith for you. Some people say the Lord will turn the tide to faith for me. The Lord will turn the tide to faith for the Lord. But the Bible says that it is those people that trust the Lord and would they put their home in God. The Bible says, For it shall be as a tree planted by the waters. Who plants that seed? By the water. The Lord. You remember, the person that make his hand, and the man is arm, the Lord blocked his eye, it was in the heat, he can't see far, he can't see even good when it's coming. And he dwell in a land of salt where there is not going to be nobody about it every day. And he dwell in a past land in a good But those people that trust the law and put their hope in God, the Bible says that man will be like a tree that is planted by the rivers. The tree that is planted by the river, either in the dry season or in the rain season or everywhere, they are nutrient. And they spread out a root by the river. He said, look, the, the root of that man, it will even go and go and tap into the river. So there yeah, it will have water continuously. If you put your trust in the Lord. The Bible says, And shall not see when it comes. You will not see it when it comes in Jesus' name. Yeah. 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 Are you trying to, I want to preach to somebody, prevention is better than kill. Prevention, prevention is better than kill. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's always good to prevent. Now, this word of God can prevent us from a lot of trouble. If we can be able to be the doer. But the Bible says, a leaf shall be green. I declare, my leaf, your leaf will be green. Amen. 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 And shall not be careful in the year of drought. When everybody is saying, I is a austerity. That person don't feel the gravity because it's source and sustainer from the law. Amen. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Meaning that 
all day of your life, you begin to bear fruit. Amen. And your fruit will be good in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, the Bible goes for that. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Now, as I'm talking to you, every one of us has the right to think the way we want. Isn't it? Yeah. But our thought doesn't make any difference. It is the plan and purpose of God that we work that we come to pass. We'll get to that in the next uh, verse. So, the Bible says the heart of man is wicked. Now, when you bring that heart onto the person that created it, they renew it. It make your heart to humble and accept the word of God. The Bible goes for that. The Bible says, I, the Lord, is not your friend now. It's not your daddy now. It's not your mother now. It's not your spouse now. He said, I, the Lord, search the heart. I am the one that's doing that. I, the Lord, search the heart and try the rays. Even so, to give every man according to his ways. A lot of people suffer for their own inflicting problem that they created for themselves. And sometimes you pity men. Why are they in this struggle? God is saying, This is grace, this is mercy. But they say, No, we will not. We will do it as we please. And now when they are beginning to reap the reward of what they sow, they started sharing cocoa Am I talking to somebody? Now, the Bible says, I try rent. And I give to everyone according to his way. And according to the fruit of his dream. Now, if I ask you a question now, if God will reward you, God now come with his own words. Eh? I'm going to reward you now according to your work that you have been doing. What will be your reward? Ask this daily question. Because that is the way to be able to come out good. Because when the word of God begins to try us with fire, it refine us. The Bible says, and the look, this will not be your Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. To disobey the the word of God. The Bible says, as the partridge seated on egg. And ask them not. So he that get riches and not by right shall live them in the midst of his days. And at the end shall be a fool. Every occultism member, their their mind, their their head is not correct. If you are an armor, a bunny, sorcerer, witch, wizard, if you don't gang because of the influence of this type of thing, you are a fool. A fool to the core. Because all those money that you made by rituals, all those connections, and all those you know, things that you think you are enjoying now, look, at the end, you will say, take it. I don't want it no more. And you know what the devil, you know what the devil will do is that when they try to, you know, uh, uh, you know, send them when they want to sign them in. You say it, thank you. When they want to initiate them, they tell them suit words. They tell them that you know people that want to join a prostitute. They tell them that it's not I mean use what you have to get what you want to get. You know, you know what you want. Both men and women they do prostitute, you know that. Okay. So the judge you now so everybody does that. And it's about come on the bar out. So but till the bad by get on the when they when you start suffering with the disease, then 
You begin to say, oh no, I wish I can turn the tide. No, I declare by the grace of God, every folly, the Lord Almighty will take it away. Amen. Amen. So nothing that you achieve in this world, that is not right. God says in his word, like a partridge. That is how that person be. He's a fool. You will not be a fool. Amen. Proverbs chapter 19, 20. The Bible says, Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou may be wise in the latter end, so that you not be like a fool. Who labor all his life and acquire things that is going to leave behind. Hmm. It is mostly well with those that heed the counsel of God. They are the one that is wise at the later end. Now, look, at the beginning, you may not make it. Am I talking to somebody? No. You know, when I came to this country, I I, I said, I want to walk with my, with my hands. Come on. They took me to McDonald's. That was my, my daddy below sister. That's where I start my, my job. And $6.15. When I calculate that money, compared to Nigeria and Nigeria, I, I thank God because what they give to me is like a year salary. God. But now, the rest is the story. Take it gradually because the way down is the way up. Somebody say, I will make it. I will, I will make, make it. it. Now, a lot of people is going to tell you a lot of different things. Do it this way, this is how the world is doing it. That, that. But when you don't follow the way of the law, uh, uh, the way of the world, you follow the way of the Lord. Your success, it will be a joyful thing because you did not add anything to it. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. But if you have compromised, you have had anything or done an evil gang or done an evil cloth, the condemnation, even though you don't tell nobody, the Lord that is your witness and know and sat the hearings and sat the heart of man and know, he knows. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. That is why I pray that the Almighty God will give you understanding at the Jesus name. Amen. And of course, if you are in one way or the other in a in a uh, in a in a in a in a in a you know in a yeah in a group or in a in yeah, initiation or something that I'm not right, that you know that Christ, if he meets me in this condition, I will not be able to go with him. Please renounce them before it's too late. That's why, please, I ask you to share this. Because this message is not for all our church in law. I mean, not somebody. This can save other people's soul. Now, the future of the wise is also brighter than those that are unwise. Who purposefully disobey the word of God? I beg you, my darling beloved brother and sister, because as you are enjoying yourself here, yeah, Anywhere you might be in the world, don't forget God. Don't allow the world to change your mentality. Please, it is high time to put more oil into your lap. Like the five spaghetti. Hallelujah. Amen. So that your end will be wise and not be a fool. I want you to put Christ in the center of your boat. Matthew chapter 25. Jesus Christ was the one that said this. From verse 1. He said, there, there then shall the kingdom of God of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamp and went forth to meet their, the bridegroom. The Bible says, and five of them were wise, and five were foolish. You will not be foolish in Jesus' name. Amen. They that were foolish took they allowed and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessel and with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at the midnight there were a cry made, the old the bridegroom coming, go ye out to meet him. 
Then all those fighting arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wife, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, Say, Not so. Let there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that say, And buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went with him to the marriage. And the door was shut. After what came also the other body, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I said unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore. For ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Jesus Christ was the one that said that. And give that illustration. So all those that will not be watchful for the coming of the Lord will find themselves resting in a danger zone when the devil deceived and the pleasure of this world and the loss of him. It is an error to be deceived by it. So don't be a foolish builder either. But a wise builder, obedient unto the word of God is what that can qualify you to be a wise builder. So that you can be what God wants you to be. Jesus Christ requires obedience, and that is not a fiction. It is true. Obedience is the key to make everyone at last. No one will enter into heaven without obeying the word of God. And by the fruit that you are bearing in the body of Christ, you will be identified, even by the owner of the church, our Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 7, from verse 18. Here is one encouragement that Jesus brought unto us and the world, and final judgment. The Bible says, A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is ate down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruit ye shall know them. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name done all, uh, done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you depart from me, ye that walk in iniquity. When you will not obey, iniquity will crept in. Because disobedience is sin to God. The Bible says, Therefore, whosoever heareth this saying of mine, which is the word of God, and dwell them, I will like him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. That is the area that I want you to be. And the rain descended, and the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat upon the house, and fell on it, for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth this saying of mine, and dwell them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat, and beat upon the house. And the Bible says, and it fell, you will not fall. Amen. And great was the fall of it. So, anyone, that will be wise in the end must hear the counsel of God and be receptive unto the instruction of God. You must humble and not to allow the word of God to rule your heart, mind, and spirit and soul. Proverbs chapter 19, 21. The Bible says, There are many devices in the man's heart. Never delay the counsel of the Lord. That will stand. You can keep your devices to yourself. You can even hide it from other men. Never delay. You cannot hide it from God. God knows everything that is in your heart. Psalm 2. Verse 2 to 4. The Bible says, The kings of the earth set themselves, and the ruler 
take counsel together against the Lord and against the anointed, saying, let us break their band asunder and cast away their cord from us. Verse 4. The Bible says, He that sitteth in the heavens are laugh. God laugh at those people that will look down on his world. The Bible says, The Lord shall have them in derision. The Lord Almighty will not put in derision. Amen. 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 Whenever you are conspiring against the world, against his anointed, God sees everything that is going on. Conclusion of this world. The Bible go further in our text, Proverbs 19, 22, that the Bible said the devices of a man is his kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord tend to lie, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. The Lord will satisfy you with his work. Amen. It shall not be visited with evil. That is the position I want to be. And I pray the Lord Almighty will put me and you there in Jesus' name. Amen. So, now, quick warning before we, we, we finish. Never raise the expectation of any man when you know you will not deliver to him. It is better for you to say the truth at all the time, even when it's not, when it's not comfortable. Those that fear God are always aspire to be faithful in all things, little things or big things. Remember, you will give account of all things. Check your life, check your surrounding, and find out if you are resting in danger soul. Stand up and begin to make correction. That is a wise person. He will do that. It is well with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. For conclusion, I want you to go with the power of the word of God and begin to dwell in the inheritance that we have in Christ. The word of God is our inheritance. Christ is our subject. And I wish you that everyone will begin to enjoy Christ and his word. All the days of our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, let us stand up and put on the screen, as we read it together, Psalm 16, 5 to 8. Put it on the screen. Psalm 15, uh, Psalm 1, 6, Psalm 1, 6, 5 to 8. The Bible said, let's read it, the Lord is the portion of my inheritance and my call, thou maintainest my Lord. Who wants God to maintain his Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want my God to maintain my own Lord. I, want my Lord to I don't want the Lord. world. I don't want the devil. I don't want men to maintain my Lord. Because men can be terrible. God asked, uh, asked David, do you want to fall in the hand of man or fall in my hand? He said, God, man is terrible. I want to fall in your hand. The Lord will maintain your Lord. Amen. Amen. The Bible go for that first. Let's go. The lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a good heritage. What is our heritage? The word of God is more than anything in this world, and it can provide anything for us. Fast seven. Let's go. I will bless the Lord who has given me what this cancer. It is God that has given to you. Don't play with it. And I pray that. We give you the grace to eat to eat in Jesus' name. Amen. And what? By rain also instructs me in the night season. Remember, God will try the rains of every man. Verse 8. I will set the Lord. I have set the Lord always before me. No wonder he was able, he was able to, be succeed, uh, to be successful. You will succeed in Jesus' name. Amen. Because what? He has my right hand. Where is the Lord? At my right hand. Where is the devil? Oh, no, under, under my face. face. <laughs> Hallelujah. Where is the Lord? At my right hand. Where is the devil? Under my face. Where is the devil? Under, 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 under my press. Under my face. Yes, the face. devil is under our face. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And what will you do? I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. Hallelujah.
Jesus' name. I shall not be. I shall not be moved. Just like that tree. Just like by the river. Hallelujah. I shall not be moved. Where the Lord has blessed you will not be moved. Amen. Where the Lord has blessed you will not be moved. Amen. Amen. The Lord will open your eyes. Amen. Amen. You will see when good is coming. Amen. Amen. The Lord will remove Amen. every past land Amen. in your life, Amen. in your family. Amen. Amen. The Lord will not make you to see it. Amen. The Lord will plant you where by the river. Amen. And your room will pass into the river. Amen. And the Lord Almighty will sustain you. Amen. He will maintain your love. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody say, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Help me, O oh Lord. To heed your word on every land. Open your mouth and pray that the Lord of Jesus will be in your hand. Give me your grace, God to heed your word on every land. In the name of Jesus. And in Jesus' name we have prayed. Be ruo me that again. 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 Somebody say every trouble water, every trouble water in my life, in my life, in my family, in my family. Right on, my brother, 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 right on, my brother,
our prayer. Amen. Amen. Place up your hand above your head. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. I declare by the grace of God, every plan in your life that is of the devil will not come to pass. Amen. Amen. Your hand is raised above your head. Yes. So shall you be lifted above your head. Amen. You will be ungettable. Amen. Unmovable. Amen. The Lord Almighty will give you a sand on your feet. Amen. So that you will not slide. Amen. The Bible says, and that man will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Yes. And his root shall go into the river. Yes. And it will never see if when it comes. Yes, Lord. And it will never be moved. Amen. And I declare that that blessing be upon your life. Amen. All the days of your life. Amen. I declare that the Lord will magnify his word in your life. Amen. And make you to be fruitful. Amen. He said that tree will bring fruit throughout the year. Yes. Always. All the time. It will never be run out of fruit. Amen. Amen. Your love will not run out of fruit. Amen. These are your people. Yes, Lord. I pray for them. I pray for myself and everyone that is on the line. In the name of Jesus. That Lord Jesus, is there anyone resting in a in a danger soul that the devil only uh, only 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 he said this one is in my in my snare now. Uh, I, I declare in the name of Jesus. The Lord that turned the captivity of Zion around. I declare that the Lord fights your battle for you. Amen. Amen. And save you Amen. from the carcass Amen. of the enemy. Amen. Save you Amen. from the covert Amen. of the enemy. Amen. Save you, Amen. your wife, Amen. your husband, Amen. your children, Amen. your family, Amen. your church, Amen. your ministry. That is pursuing you in the name of the Spirit. That is any evil towards you. I declare all their plan. Render evil to the devil. You are the one that make the devices of the wicked to come to naught. You are the one that made the divine mad. You are the one that destroy all the plan of of Ammon over Modeca. I declare you destroy every plan of the evil one concerning any of our victory. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Wherever God has proposed for you that you will get or you get there. Amen. Amen. And I declare that the thing that you are expecting that God will do, God, if you can do this, I will serve you all the days of my life. Amen. I declare the wonder working of God to do it for you. Jesus. Amen. Amen. When we shall come back again to gather ourselves, I declare you have testimony. This month, try this month, I declare a bountiful harvest into your life, Amen. your family, Amen. your business, Amen. and into your ministry. Amen. Give us the power to love you the more Amen. and let us to serve you. Amen. Don't, let, don't let us go back from you Amen. all the days of our life. Amen. To the glory of the Father. Amen. 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 Amen.